The next thing that I would like to consider will be motion in a lift. Another word for lift is elevator. Motion in a lift. Motion in a lift. If we have an elevator, when you walk into the elevator, let's assume you stand on a scale. What happens is, if we draw the free body diagram on you, you will have your weight downwards and uh, you will have the normal force acting on you upwards and this would mean that you have here this is your weight downwards and this is the normal force upwards now this is true no matter what position or no matter how the leaf is moving now let's consider the following scenario. One, the leaf is accelerating upwards. If the leaf is accelerating upwards, we know that the summation of F is equal to what? MA which means that N minus MG will be equal to MA. We are taking the upward direction to be positive. The upward direction is considered to be positive. So if the upward direction is considered to be positive, in this case, observe that A is upward, which means the acceleration is positive. Therefore, the normal force on you will be equal to what? Mg minus or plus Ma. This is the expression for the force that the meter will measure. In other words, look up everybody. In other words, when you are accelerating upwards you will experience a force on you due to the ground greater than your weight do you get me you will experience a force on you greater than your weight which means that if you stand on a scale in such an elevator you will gain a lot of weight so the second scenario two what if the lift is decelerating upwards? If the lift is decelerating upwards, it means that it's speeding what? down. The speed is decreasing as the lift is going upwards. We will have the summation of F should be equal to M. The acceleration in this case is negative. This would mean that N minus Mg will be equal to negative Ma. Therefore, the force on you is equal to what? Mg minus Ma. So when the lift is decelerating upwards, you feel lighter. Do you understand that? When the leaf is accelerating upward, you feel heavier. And when the lift is decelerating upwards, you feel lighter. Three, the lift is moving upwards with a constant speed. 
if the leaf is moving upward with a constant speed, what is the acceleration? Zero. The acceleration is zero, which means that n minus mg will be equal to what? Zero. Therefore, the force you experience n is equal to your actual weight. Therefore, when you are accelerating upwards, the force that you experience in is equal to what? Your actual weight. Now, case four, the lift is accelerating downwards. The lift is speeding up in a downward direction. Look up, let's revisit the free body diagram. This is N. This is MG. Remember the upward direction is considered to be positive. So we have here N minus MG equal to M. Remember A is now in the opposite direction, so this will be minus A. As a result, N will be equal to Mg minus Ma. So if you are accelerating downwards, you actually feel lighter. What if you are decelerating downwards? What if you are decelerating downwards? You will have N minus Mg, all of this equal to, if you are decelerating downwards, this is like in the negative direction, negative A, which is just going to be Ma. This would mean that N will be equal to what? Mg plus Ma. You feel heavier. You feel heavier. When you are decelerating downwards, what will be the sign of your velocity? Negative. The sign of your acceleration? Positive. All right, what about six? The lift is moving downwards with a constant velocity. The lift is moving downwards with a constant velocity. In this case, N minus mg will be equal to what? Zero. Which means that n is equal to mg. mg. So the, the weight that you measure is your actual weight. The weight that you measure is your actual weight. Now, I'm going to pause here and I'm going to review a couple of things. Look up, please. When you stand on a platform, the platform exerts a force on you upwards, and the earth attracts you, which means the earth exerts a force on you downwards. So what you actually feel as your weight is really not your weight. It's rather the force that your support exerts on you. Do you understand me? Remember your weight is the gravitational pull of the earth on you. Let me say that again. Your weight is the gravitational pull of the earth on you. So what you feel as your weight is really not your weight, but the normal force 
that your support asserts on you. Comprende? Now, if that is the case, listen carefully, please. Mm -hmm. If that is the case, it means that your weight, what you feel as your weight really isn't your weight. It's the normal force that your support asserts on you. If that normal force ceases to exist for whatever reasons, you will feel weightless. You will feel weightless. Weightlessness is a condition in which the normal force of your support on you is zero. It is not a condition in which you don't have weight. You can only truly be weightless in a region where there is no gravitational field. And that only occurs where at infinity or between two planets where the gravitational fields cancel out each other. <clears throat> but as long as you are on Earth or within the gravitational field of Earth, you will always have weight. The difference I want to make is this. Please close your, close your eye parts. The difference I want to make is this. The fact that you have weight doesn't mean you have to feel your weight. Having weight and feeling your weight are two different things. So what you feel as your weight is really not your weight, but the normal force that your support asserts on you. Do you understand me? The normal force that your support asserts on you. Take for example, take for example, this is the guy you think you feel as your weight. Because of that, the normal force is also called apparent weight. Because of that, the normal force is also called apparent weight. Now, look up everybody. Weight Lessness occurs when n is equal to zero. Weightlessness occurs when n is equal to zero. But the question is when is n equal to zero? That is the question I have for you. When is n equal to zero? Let's look back here. Suppose that if, in this case, look up, if an object is decelerating upwards with an acceleration equal to the acceleration due to gravity, N will be equal to mg minus what? mg which will be equal to 0. When an object's acceleration is equal to the acceleration due to gravity, we say that the object is in we say that the object is in free fall. Remember projectile motion of free falling objects? Didn't we conclude a couple of weeks ago that an object is in free fall if its acceleration is equal to the acceleration due to gravity? Can you remember that? Now, if that is clear enough, then let us observe another circumstance. What if an object is accelerating downward if, if, a is equal to G, then 
n will be equal to mg minus mg, which will be equal to what? Zero. In this scenario, the object is weightless. In this scenario, the object is weightless. You actually have a weight feeling at that point. In each of these cases, you realize that the normal force is zero only when the object is accelerating with an acceleration due to what? Gravity. So what can we conclude? We can conclude that weightlessness occurs in free fall. Weightlessness occurs in what? In free fall. Wait, isn't free fall like only when you're affected by the gravity? An object is in free fall only when the force acting on that object is the force due to what? Gravity. Gravity. Do you understand me? This means that astronaut in outer space, in the International Space Station, are weightless because they are always in free fall. Yes, please. They are not actually falling. They, they are always falling. If they are closer to the moon than to the earth, are they in free fall? The only place where, for example, this is the earth and this is the moon. At some point here, the, gravity, the gravitational field of the Earth cancels out the gravitational field of the Moon. Which means that at this point, called the neutral point, the object is truly weightless. You understand that, right? But we are talking about astronauts in space circling the Earth. They are always in free fall. You understand that, right? I think that the distance from the Earth to the Moon is about 300,000 miles. That's a long That's distance. Trip. Yeah. Trip. That's a long distance. <laughs> we should watch the Martian like somewhere. We should go to space. Don't. Definitely, I agree with you. All right. How much time is left, please? Okay.